the 16th of July. Look at my pretty girl. Turn around, Georgie. Let's see your outfit. Georgie. Georgie. Let me see your outfit. Okay, so Georgie's outfit is in fact from TK Maxx and it is Cynthia Rowley. Is it with the bottoms as well? It's gorgeous. So you're going to play with that? This used to be my boy's sandpit. So hold on, I'll get the car. So it used to... Put it over there. Okay, you put it over there. So this was the cover of the sandpit. And Georgie's wanting to play with it. I'll go and get you wee cars, Georgie. Do you want water in it? There's a hole in it. Water will just come out of it. Oh, there's George back at it. Hi. So uh, that's George, Ruth and Georgie away. Garden's still in a mess, but George has finished all the roofing now. I tried. Oh, I've got a bit of a toothache. Mm. Do you know why? Eating chocolate. Oh, it's not serious. It's just. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, never mind. So he tried to move the slabs and things, but it's still work in progress. And that's that. I'm, I'm actually just came up here to. Oh, it's warm today. I came up here to upload this video, the video I've been trying to upload since yesterday. I kind of did my first edit yesterday and um, I'm going to check the edits now and then upload it. I was supposed to upload it yesterday. I haven't uploaded a video all week. So that's that. But do you know what? I wanted to have a little chat. I was going to chat to you in the garden, but I thought I'll just chat to you up here whilst, just before I start editing. Cheers. Yeah, you yeah, know, these chats. But actually, it's about Tamara Kalinic. Is that name? Sorry if I've mispronounced it. But, um, yeah, I'm sure you've all heard about it. But she had her flat broken into and had about over £300,000 worth of things stolen. And it's a really interesting watch for many reasons and I'll, I'll chat about it but the thing I wanted to mention first was she's uploaded her vlog so she started a vlog before the robbery and then she finishes the vlog after the robbery so then it also makes sense if you watch her video on um, when she talks about the, the robbery or the burglary however you like to call it I'll, I'll link both videos in my description box because they're a really interesting watch and she's, I mean, I've watched her for years and she's a lovely girl and more often than not, she does reply to comments as well. I mean, I've, I've, I've made comments before in her videos and she's replied to them and she is massive, 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 massive. She's beautiful, she's intelligent, all of that. So the point I was going to make after the robbery where I can't remember where she is but anyway she she says I, I need a new makeup bag because they took her makeup bag her Louis Vuitton makeup bag and she stops at Louis Vuitton and buys her new makeup bag and do you know what I loved about that it was almost as if giving the burglars the finger because it was like I'm still getting my makeup bag you're not stopping me you know you may have taken my things to that and to also to those people that said oh it's your fault for um showing all these things on youtube for showing off and showing everybody the amount of things you've got and all of that so it's like look i'm still buying them i'm still showing them and of course she explains this is her job it is her job to buy these things to show these things the process the blah 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 okay but you'll see all of that if you watch the videos but it was such an interesting watch but she points out quite a few things you know for us in the luxury youtube corner um it is frightening it is frightening when you're sitting here showing these things i mean i am 
my collection is minute, minute when you look at um, some of these other channels where they're unboxing continuously, you know, they're, they're buying bags with every new season, every new whatever. It's it's madness. I mean, I, I, I have pretty much quite a normal collection. You know, I don't have excessive amount of bags. Although to some, it is an excessive amount of bags. I do understand that. Um, but she explains that she really doesn't expect to get the money back from her insurance. Um, there's an Obviously, it's an ongoing case, so she can't really get into great details about it just now. But... Um, yeah, I mean, she I mean, she has a collection of Kelly's, Birkins, amongst many other brands. They took her passports, they took absolutely everything. And I mean, I know what it's like to be burgled. Uh, as a child, our house in London was burgled quite a few times. And it's very, very frightening. For me, it was very frightening. The first time I was really quite young when our house got broken into and it was quite an ordeal for me as a child because I walked in with my mum and dad but basically we couldn't um we were trying to open the the front door my dad was trying to open the front door couldn't open the front door because what they do is they put the the locks on from inside so you can't get in they've got time to escape basically with you you know they'll hear you trying to open the door and that just gives them time and then we basically my dad was like what's going on walked round the back and when we saw the french doors um smashed and then you walk in and then you just see everything everywhere everywhere and i mean we my mum had all her jewelry taken and everything so i it's, it's really awful but i know exactly how that feels like and tamara was also saying the same thing that you know she's been through this time and time again but it's still awful it doesn't matter how many times you go through it but it is scary because we do sit and talk about these sorts of things on YouTube and I I had an incident um, when I first started on my YouTube and I got recognized by somebody local and they put it in my comments and it really really frightened me I mean I never ever expected my channel to be found I mean I, I, I remember when I first uploaded my video and I got my first subscriber I was like somebody subscribed oh, I wonder who it is oh my god you know like now you know you, you hear everybody going oh you know get more subscribers get more subscribers I remember when I got my first one I was like, oh my god somebody has subscribed <laughs> but it is it is very very frightening I at that point actually closed down my channel I didn't delete my channel I just I made it private I made my channel private for a long 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 time but I missed it I really really missed it and I, I I took the decision at that time that why should I stop doing something that I enjoy and I really enjoy with all my heart I mean every bit of it I love the filming part I enjoy the editing part I enjoy the coming up with ideas and it's something that I don't have to do you know, like I haven't had time all week to upload a video. It's not something that I rely on, you know. So, that yeah, it is scary. And then somebody else, another YouTuber, made a video on, you know, how to prevent these things happening. Nobody can prevent them. You know, if somebody wants to break in they're breaking i mean people have broken into buckingham palace for goodness sake you know if somebody wants to break in they can break in you know you don't i have cameras i have alarms i have everything it's all attached to our phones to our watches the minute somebody walks past the cameras i see it on my watch you know we do our very best to prevent it 
and that's all you can do. But I found it quite patronising that somebody would make a video on how to prevent, you know, it was like, you know, if you can afford these bags, then you can afford to put cameras in your house. You know, you should have a... If, come on. But adult enough to know these things. Anyway. That's that. <laughs> Talking of cameras, my my neighbour and I actually went out today comparing like her cameras and my cameras to see like making sure like between the two cameras <laughs> we are getting everything. <laughs> we were actually doing that today, coincidentally. All right, I'm going to um, finish my chocolate and I'll chew on this out. And I'll upload this video hopefully but yeah good morning and welcome to the uh, 17th of July we have a busy Saturday today yes it's Saturday I've just put some sun cream on because I'm gonna go out and give Rico a hand he's he's got an extremely busy day he's cooking today he's got special orders to do today but he's trying to clear out the garden so I've been tidying up inside I know there's only two of us and Lily and what do I have to tidy up but there's always something to be tidied up and I have to hoover all the time because of Lily bringing in the trees and everything and the garden not being at its best just now. I've just got the sitting room to do. Okay, so I was saying I was up last night um, until two o'clock watching The Handmaid's Tale again. I need to finish it because I need to get my life back because I slept in this morning as well which isn't good. So. I have, let me show you, I have mopped in there. I'm just waiting for this floor to dry. I have a container there that I want to use to store things in the shed. So I've emptied that and got a washing on. So I'm just gonna hoover in here because there's footprints. That's the only reason I'm gonna hoover in here because there's footprints. Hoover mark, footprints where I was kind of sitting last night. It's not, as you can see, it's clean, but the footprints are annoying me. So I'm gonna get rid of them and get outside this floor is dry now I've left that mop there so I remember to put the bottom of it in the washing when I put the whites in I've got colours in just now oh my goodness he's cleared it up and I was supposed to go out and help him right I think I'll jump out and help him just now okay it is a quarter to three I'm absolutely filthy filthy stupid wearing white shorts I know but anyway we are tidied up tidied up still a lot of work to be done at least it's now tidy. Here we go. So rubbish is away. Rico is in there cooking. So anyway, we're kind of organised. Everything is organised. Just things to be done that I've already talked about. Taking the tree away, adding chips, sorting out the path, all of that. And of course, usual gardening, light. Like cutting the grass and all that. This is still burning away. I'm waiting for it to stop burning so I can get my washing out and then get that back in its place as well. But more or less organised. Well, tidied. I'm gonna go and get washed and I'm gonna go to BM and pick up some things that I need. Oh, I tell you, see when you've been working in the sun, that breeze feels amazing. And then when I come back, I think it's gonna be gin and tonic time. That right, Lily? You're my beautiful girl. Okay, I am back. Don't think I should be walking through my kitchen just now because Rico has just finished cooking one of the meals and it's and I really need to tidy it up before the next round. But let me show you what I got. Also, my washing machine stopped, so I'm rewashing all that. So I went to be um, I went to home bargains. You're not going to get a glamorous look today. It's not going to happen. It's too warm and I'm too tired. But anyway, let me show you what I got. Okay, these are just... Rico needed some containers. He'd run out of this size of container. So I just picked them up for him quickly. And I got my lights. I'll show you all this when I put them up. I got some tomato feed. I got some more lights and these go on the ground in the stones but what I wanted to show you was I got some shoesies 
I got these for a bargain of six pounds. Here we go. So, and I got these as well, these sparkly escadrilles as well. I think they were reduced to 20 pounds. So that was what I really wanted to show you. I'll show you everything else when it's up. It's just gardening stuff. Not very exciting. Also I've got some magic gems for Rico and some Kit Kats for Rico. Hello and welcome to Sunday the 18th of July. It is not a very sunny today but it's warm because I was out in the garden rearranging things. Rearranging, you know me. Put things here, oh they doesn't look right. Put things there, don't, oh I don't like this, I don't like... Anyway, rearranging the things and I was like... Ooh. So the shorts are back on summer t-shirts are back on because I, I had a pair of jeans on and a t-shirt because it just didn't look that warm cheers anyway mm. oh very nice. so i'm now going to sit and film i think i'm gonna do a video on my ring because it is probably my most requested video of all time so I'm going to do it, get it over and done with and then every time somebody asks me about my, room, my ring I will refer them to the video and hopefully that's the end of it. Yes, it is a diamond. No, it's not um, Swarovski or anything like that. <laughs> but I'll do all of that in the video. Anything else to report? Nothing else to report? I don't think so. I'm going to empty my wok because this is the bag I was using yesterday because I am now making an effort to use my bag. So normally what I would have done yesterday for a quick visit, <laughs> I say quick visit but I came back with two pairs of shoes but B&M or TK Maxx, I would have probably carried my Gucci messenger bag or my LRM bag or something like that that will just I don't have to worry about but hey ho listen I'm 56 years old I need to get use where's the cover to this what did I do with it hmm strange <laughs> sitting on it um I, I, I need to get good use of my bags you know the clock's ticking the clock is ticking people <laughs> yeah that's how I store my wok. Always store my wok like so, so the flap goes over the, this is kind of a velvet pouch the wok comes in. So we'll sit that there. So I've used, I actually just went to Aldi's there as well and just picked up a few bits and pieces that Rico forgot to pick up. I actually fancied a seafood salad today. Rico's barbecuing and I went, haven't Rico used to make a mean, mean, mean seafood salad in the restaurant and uh, I'm, su I'm such a fidget auntie <laughs> yeah he used to make a mean mean seafood salad at the restaurant so this is i picked up a seafood selection for him to turn into a seafood salad for me with his own very special dressing cheers right i think i better get on so i think i might just get maybe a, a nicer top to discuss my um diamond <laughs> swarovski cheers okay I have changed. I decided to put this top on today. Thought I thought it would be better to have a dark background. Anyway, this was the top I bought in my first ever video. First ever video when I reviewed my Neverfull Witches up there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and do the video now. I'm wasting far too much time. Hello and welcome to a very, very warm 21st of July. I have not got my light on because, oh, let me tell you, our houses, our gardens are not designed for the warm weather. This is the problem. I mean, I love the warm weather. I'm not moaning. I'm not groaning. But I just need you to understand, right? Our houses have carpets, double glazing, wall insulation. Everything is designed to keep the heat in and oh, it's like we don't have air con and it's oh, today today's the first day i honestly have felt it i want to come in here 
and do my video i'm desperate to do this video my reactions video to this certain person but i don't know i think the sweat is going to be pouring down didn't do the gym today only because i had my optician so i thought will i go to will i drive to the gym do my workout come home shower blah 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 get ready and go down and get my eyes tested or will i just leisurely walk down to the opticians which as a round trip is about 10 kilometers and i thought that's what i'll do enjoy some sunshine walk because i do enjoy a walk blah 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 but i wore my new thong sandals that i got from tk maxx and i knew i knew i knew i knew but actually they were not bad and i didn't get any pain from where i thought i would from the thong bit but it's underneath because so it's so thin the sole of my feet now are feeling a bit delicate anyway do i do the video or not so that's basically what i've been doing today i've ironed you know i've done the usual iron it's wednesday i've cleaned my fridge blah 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 uploaded my video on my ring which i will link below just in case you haven't seen it oh oh just so bag i carried today and i walked with this my ysl bag which still has the blue sticker on like me i tell you every time i use my bags because i haven't used them in such a long while i thought oh i love this bag but because my feet were starting to get so i remembered i needed some compete this is amazing stuff for blisters and all that so i bought another compete this is nearly like seven pounds got that out of boots and whilst i was there i picked up a new nail varnish a uh, barium in the color i'm not going to be able to see it says her that's just back from the optician so pineapple oh pineapple punch barium so i'll be doing my nails with that when i'm watching the handmaid's tale tonight oh somebody oh i've just closed the ring i'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do this video if it doesn't work i'll come back to it no big deal hello welcome to my toxic lowest of the low damaging gossipy ugly non-original okay how are we all feeling it is the 24th it is saturday and it is very very warm which calls for a glass of sparkling rosy cheers okay what have i been up to today basically let me tell you i'm still watching that um handmaid's tale i think i'm now gonna be starting um series four which is currently showing on channel four so i'm watching it on more four it is exhausting me it is really exhausting me because i'm sitting up really late and last night i actually thought one of my neighbors was getting burgled so i ran upstairs this was about half past one in the morning got me quiet says so one, one of my neighbors is getting and he's going oh you're seeing things i said i'm telling you i saw somebody going into their house blah 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 anyway it's all good it turns out it was their son who doesn't live there anymore but i was going to stay there the night his parents were away he was at a party locally so instead of you know going home he was going to stay at his parents house who, as far as I'm concerned, there was nobody staying at the house, so I thought they were getting burgled. And but anyway, <laughs> so I nearly had the police on my neighbour's son because. So anyway, but neighbours are quite happy because I make a good neighbourhood watch. I ain't gonna be a neighbourhood watch when this series finishes because I need some sleep. I am really lacking in sleep. <laughs> really lacking in sleep. <laughs> Can you tell? Anyway. So I'm going to film, I think I'm going to do a chit chat video, but away from the vlog, a separate chit chat video. I think I'm going to title it, what have I got here? Can influencers be trusted? Ooh, I thought I'd do a wee chat about that. 
I took a sip of that, but I'm actually, it wasn't a good idea because I'm dehydrated because it's so warm. I am currently home alone because of a doing a private function. So I was left to clean up his mess in the kitchen, which I've done. I have tidied my house. But like I said, it took me a wee while to get started this morning. I actually, I wait for him to leave. He still had a bit more prepping to do in the house before he went to cater. So I, I let, let him go. And then I just got stuck into my kitchen, give the house a quick hoover here, you know, the usual bathrooms and all that. But anyway, more important than cleaning the house and all that, my babies are coming up from Milton Keynes. And I'm so excited. So, so, so excited to see them. I know we saw them, how long ago was it? A couple of months ago? Was it when we were in Milton Keynes? Oh my goodness. I lose all track of time. But anyway. But I'm so excited for them. I don't even know if Anna even remembers coming to my house. But she's so excited to come to Yaya's house. That's Anna, just in case you don't know, is my granddaughter. She is the daughter of Kelly and Costa. Just in case you don't know. Just in case you're new. Um, she doesn't travel lightly. She loves to dress up. She loves handbags. She loves clothes. She, oh... She loves everything girly, but she loves a good old rough and tumble as well. She's an all-rounder, but I will vlog. I will vlog and share them with you when they come up. I say that and then, you know, I end up having such a good time, I forget. But I always get a wee bit of um, footage here and there. And my eldest, Costa, he likes to sabotage my filming. He's been warned. He's been warned. Okay. Water or rosé? I'll have another bit of water. I will because I can. I can feel I'm really quite dehydrated when I took the sip of that. I just knew. I have yellow nails on. I don't know how I feel about yellow nails. Everybody seems to be wearing yellow just so, but I have done the yellow thing before. 